Bar 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 barrio lifestyle entertainment. Bar 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 barrio lifestyle entertainment. No guts, no glory, no glory, fuckers. What up? What up? We're here with Mono Mac. How you been, bro? CMG, what's up, homie? And then they went to watch star shit. I'm back like Tyson when he was heartless. Fuck this whole industry. Everyone's a target. Decapitation like the Mexican cartels. I got a kite from our chapel instead to give these fuckers house. So I you know, we've been trying to get in it for a minute. Yeah, it's been some time. What you been up to? I've been, um... I've been smashing, been hustling, been back in the game, back in the streets, back in the music shit, back in the studio, just just back on my grind heavy, trying to get um get this new music back in, you know um my last shit that I released, loyal to the game, was like towards the end of like 2015, 2016 I went through all types of shit, a lot of personal things, took a lot of losses, a lot of fails, tried new shit out, didn't pan out right, you know what I mean? Things didn't happen right on me and um. Fucking uh, bounce back, you know what I'm saying? And, and we're back at it. So can you tell us a little more about 2016? 2016 was fucked up. Yeah, it was a fucked up year for me. Um, I wasn't really... Uh, I, first, a lot of people don't even know that I, I, I recorded the whole album. Lost the whole album, you know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, lost all my music. Went through a bunch of shit, got my crib raided. Um, Went through court, a bunch of, bunch of other shit, you know what I mean? Just money-related situations, custody from my, my son and my daughter. Um, you know, just just a lot of headaches, homie, you know what I'm saying? Lost property, cars, a lot of money, just tried new things out, new business ventures and stuff. It it didn't work out, you know what I'm saying? Just I, I took a lot of losses, homie, a lot of fails, you know what I mean? And, um, Let me ask you a little bit more about your background. Where were you born? I was born in um, Los Angeles, L.A., California. Um, I was born in LA, Norwalk area. A lot of my, all my family still are like from Santa Fe Springs, Los Nietos, like Pico, um, towards out, out that way, you know. And um, I was born out there, grew up out there until I was in about like maybe like third grade or something like that. Then I moved with uh, with my sister and my mom to um, to Oakland, you know. I, I stayed in Oakland for a couple years, Oakley. I didn't realize I'm wearing an oh, Oakland jacket right Oh, that's right. Oakland, Oakland, California. I was out there, um, you know, and uh, that was that was a little different, you know what I'm saying? I was right there, like San Leandro, Oakland area. I had to take, like, the train to school and shit. It was, it was by myself, too, you know what I mean? It was crazy. And then from Oakland, then I bounced back out here. I was out there for a couple of years, and I bounced to, to Riverside, you know what I'm saying, where basically I grew up, where I learned everything, kind of soaked up game. And, um, Riverside, California, homies, from the sixth grade all the way up. All right, all right. To, to this day, you know what I'm saying? We're in Riverside Hills right now. So some of your fans want to know where the Malo and the Mac came from. Can you tell um, us a little bit about your name? You know, I got I got the name Malo from uh, from uh, one of my older homies, mom, mommy uh, Rascal. Um, he gave me that he gave me that nickname, you know, and it's kind of just like I just I just growing up, I just kind of had like a shitty attitude, you know what I mean? It's like a Kind of like a chip on my shoulder. I was like the bad kid, you know. I used to kind of had like a bad attitude, and he's so he used to call me Malo. Um, I put the W behind it though, you know, just kind of originate my name, and you know, uh, so that's that's how the, that's where the Malo came from. And the Mac, it, it actually didn't come until like I was a part of High Power and I started doing music, and um, you know, it came from like the females, the girls, and shit, and. You know, and that's that's kind of how that how that all started. You know, Malo Mac. And then I I broke it all down though. Dude. Now 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 my name it has a whole different meaning to it now, homie. You know what I mean? Every letter means something different to me. You know, so Malo Mac. The meaning of Malo Mac means um um making a living off writing my aggression creatively. Malo Mac. You know what I'm saying? Nice, so nice. yeah, so it's a little it's a little deeper than than just the just the rap name. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, right, Malo so. Mac, that's where it came from. It came from uh, the streets and it came from the bitches. Since you mentioned you were a bad kid growing up, how did your parents actually deal with your attitude? Um, you know what? I didn't, uh, I never, I never had a relationship with my pops. Um, he was a fucking, uh, he was, he was like, a, he was a gang member, you know? He was, he was from LA and stuff and he was in and out of prison my whole life, you know what I'm saying? I, I rap about it, make songs about it. Hope. 
hopeless. Watching my mom struggle every day, we live it homeless. She's only 16, she ain't got a cent. My piece of shit dad, he ain't trying to pay the rent. He's a drug fiend, hooked up on that black tar. Heroin needles, always tracking up his arms. So she stressed out. Um, he was in the, he was in dope, he was in the gang. He was like a heroin addict and shit, so he was never really around, but my mom, I was real close to my mom. Me and my mom are a lot alike. Um, recently though, you know, I, I really don't have a relationship too much with my mom, you know what I'm saying? Things are a little, things are a little rocky, but rough. Yeah, a little rough right now, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes people grow apart, just, you know, personalities and stuff like that, but that's still my mom's and, you know I mean? She's a, she's a good, she's a good lady. She made a lot of sacrifices, you know? This question coming up is the one that I want answered, your fans want answered. What really happened with High Power? You know what, I've been, some real shit, I've been asked that question a thousand times. And um, it's, pro it's probably my fault, you know what I'm saying? Because I never answered it. I know I had a, a lot of fans out there throwing up the H and bumping High Power shit. And I was going hard for High Power. I was a part of High Power for over 10 years, you know what I'm saying? I helped build that shit. And when it comes down to everything, you know what I mean? It's probably the first and last time I ever talked about it, you know what I mean? I never discussed it before but it was just bad business I mean you know when it came down to it it was, it was bad business you know um, a lot of people don't even know that um, I was out there I was doing I was doing everything when it came down to you know when it came down to my my career and being an artist with high power and all that shit I was doing everything real shit you know what I'm saying um, hustling out the trunk you know I'm just like these NWA cats I was really doing that slanging thousands of units out of um, out of my whip, traveling all over the world, you know what I'm saying? I was paying for my own studio time, I write on my own music, I was paying for my own like features and um, making my own beats and all that shit. I mean, I was doing everything on my own, nobody was doing nothing for me, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I just felt like, you know, this business wasn't right. There's, there's a bunch of other shit I'm really not going to get into, but this business wasn't right, money wasn't right, and um, it was time for me to bounce, you know what I'm saying? When it, when it comes down to all the other shit, like me getting kicked out or whatever, that shit ain't ever happened. I mean, anybody ever saying that shit is, is full of shit. You know what I mean? It's storytelling. You know what I mean? Well, you know that saying, there's two sides to every story. You yeah, know yeah. I mean? There's sometimes just the story is the real story. You know what I'm saying? There's not even two sides. There's the truth and that's it. You know what I mean? Sometimes other people want to say there's another side to a story, but it's a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? So... So where, where we're at right now, just... And then after that, I kind of left and people started trying to get involved in my business, but my business, re, you know, it, it all revolved around finances and money and the way I took care of my family. So, you know, if you're getting involved in my personal business that I had and the reason why I left, you know, high power and shit like that, then you're getting involved on how I take care of my children and my money situations and, and things like that. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking that lightly, homie, you know what I'm saying? So... That's basically it. Bad business and how to keep it pushing. I had a lot of good times, don't get me wrong. I had a lot of good times. I made a, you know what I'm saying? I made a lot of moves over there and things like that, but a lot of people don't realize um, I did a lot of that shit on my own, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes other people took credit for it or whatever. It made me feel like they, they put me in a position to, I put myself in that position, you know what I'm saying? I, I was already recording. Half the studios that these cats record at right now, I showed them where these studios were at. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so yeah, that's basically it. I mean, just bad business, money, situations, and, you know, just, just the way it is, I guess, with their, you know, right. business. Well, it's been a while since you left that label you were with. So now, who do you represent? You know what? I, re I represent, um, when it comes to my music and it comes to all that kind of shit, I represent, like, I represent the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I represent, um, I say it a lot of my music, um, you know, I'm like the voice of the hopeless and, you know, um, that's, that's what I represent, you know what I'm saying? From where I came from, I represent, uh, I represent the struggle. I represent the, you know, that little kid that's in the basketball game that doesn't get picked, you know what I'm saying? And he kind of stands there and has to watch the game and, you know what I'm saying? I, rep I represent that little kid, you know what I'm saying? You know, that kind of moves on to do his own shit and blows up and laughs in everybody's face. You know what I'm saying? That's what the fuck, that's what I represent. I mean, you know? All right. I represent the underdog. All right, Malo, so how do you feel about the haters? Yeah, how do I feel about the haters? I, I pay attention to everything. 
You know what I mean? Um, I'm not one of these guys that acts like he's too fucking big or he's too, he's too popping where he can't pay attention to what's going on around him. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I pay attention to everything. So the haters, I expect motherfuckers to hate on me. You know what I'm saying? I, ex I expect them to hate. There's no one else doing what I'm doing music-wise. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about these fools that brag about their Instagram followers and their views on fucking YouTube. You know what I'm saying? All that little unpopular bullshit, you know? You know? Compared to another person that calls himself an artist, I'm smashing on him, homie, straight up. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the haters and shit like that, I expect it. You know, I, people don't write the type of the type of shit that I write, you know what I mean? And, you know, I just I have a whole different style in this game, so, fools better hate, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's where I'm at with it, you know? It's... If they, if they ain't hating, then I'm doing something wrong. You know, either they're supporting what I'm doing or you better be hating what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So fuck them. There's a lot of artists that want to work with you. Is there anyone that you really want to work with? You know who I want to work with? I want to work with, um... <laughs> this, this probably sound, sounds crazy and shit, but... I want to work with, like... Carlos Santana, homie. I want to work with people like that. I want to work with, like... Um, Fuck Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? Um, just different type, just different artists, you know, like Sade, Gwen Stefani. Like I want to work with people like that, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm not really into the Chicano rap. I've kind of already worked with everybody that I kind of felt like, you know, I wanted to work with when I was doing this. But I'm not really with the Chicano rap, the Cholo rap, the fucking the shit that everybody's. Everyone thinks it's popping. I'm not, you know. Neighborhood rap. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not into that shit, dog. You know what I mean? I want to work with like, you know, Kendrick Lamar and fucking and Dre. You know what I'm saying? And I want to work with Yellow Wolf and fucking Ritz and you know what I'm saying? With two dope ass white boys. You know, I want to work with like fucking Marshall Mathers and you know what I mean? I want to work with people that just not just dropping music and shit, you know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna work with people like that. Now, I know budget-wise and all that type of shit, I'm not talking about money politics. Those are just people that I want to work with, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, people like that, I mean, that's where, that's where my mind's at. All right. Do you have any new projects coming out? Any new music? Yeah, I have a lot of shit coming out. Um, um, I said earlier how, like, 2016, I recorded an album. I lost that whole album, you know what I'm saying? Um, my whole studio crashed on me everything fucked up i'm releasing i'm almost done with this new album notorious Marlon mac um again i don't really have like features and shit like that on there but it's dope it's dope as fuck i have my legendary boys on there um a couple dope ass singers you know what i'm saying um but i have that shit notorious Marlon mac's coming um cycle profits it's another album that i'm putting now that shit's coming legendary mafia album's coming notorious Marlon mac albums that shit's gonna be out before summer, you know what I'm saying? And everything else is basically done. I'm sitting like on some real shit. I'm sitting like on probably over a hundred songs right now. You know what I'm saying? Not released, all just some dope shit, you know? So, um, so yeah, so Notorious Small Amount, that's gonna be out before summer for sure. Um, Psycho Profits, that's gonna release by summer. That's gonna be like a compilation of just a gang of shit that I've been doing, you know what I mean? Um, the legendary mafia album's been done um we're just waiting to get some things in order you know what i'm saying and um just waiting for a little couple things a couple little touches and shit that okay. i was done i'm releasing another album that's been done too um it's called all white roses that's um just nothing but love jams and shit you know um from like it's like has like six or seven of my classic jams on there all remastered and then it has like another 10 10 jams on there you know just but that's like something for the ladies for the for the max, the players, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. That's so, what's up. Um, yeah, some some dope shit. What about touring? Are you gonna go back on the road? Yeah, I'm gonna go back on the road. Actually, uh, I'm, I just I just finished finished up a deal and shit. Um, I'm gonna be releasing legendary mafia clothing. You know what That's I'm saying? So I just finished hoodies, shirts. I have over like ten designs, and this ain't like you know everyone's doing clothes and shit, which is dope. You know what I mean? Everyone's trying to venture off and do other things, homie. Which I support everybody. You know what I'm saying? I don't got an issue with nobody. I'm not mad about anything and past bullshit, you know what I'm saying? So, but my clothes, it's a lot different. It's a lot more cleaner, you know what I'm saying? It's not swap meat shit, 
You know, you're not gonna have a fucking smile out fucking cry later face on the shirt and you know what I mean? Like it's a lot different, homie, you know what I'm saying? I, I take a, take pride in like if you listen to my music, you listen to my last al album, Loyal to the Game, I take pride in, you know, my penmanship and you know, everything that I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? So the same thing goes with the clothing, you know what I mean? Um the prints and shit are a lot more crisp, a lot more cleaner. Um, so I got the legendary mafia clothing. With that being said, I have my legendary mafia, you know, my squad, my boys, you know what I mean? Uh, the True Riders, my homie Blends. Um, Blends, you know what I mean? He, he reps out of Odd Mob, San Bernardino, my homie Pies, you know, he's out of Colton, you know, um, my cousin X in life, you know what I'm saying? Um, he's out of Fontana, then myself out of Riverside, and, you know, we just, we have a lot of shit, so I have my own, just everything, homie, I'm bringing everything with me. New music, clothing line. You know, new my, my my team, everything. So yeah, tournament and all that shit. You know, that's just that's just just right yeah, around the corner. Fire. That's fire. I mean, yeah, we take we taking just... over. We 2016. I had a lot of things to think about. You know what I'm saying? So that's right. I mean, so just fucking um, break time's over, homie. Got a lot of videos coming. I already have three videos in the vault just done. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, we got a, got a lot of shit done. You know what I'm saying? So I'm real I'm real proud of the homie. I'm, I'm re-energized, fully motivated. You know. So we're getting everything cracking. All right, Malo. Well, it's been a pleasure. Is there anything else you want to tell your fans? Um, to my fans, I just want to say thank you. You know what I'm saying? So um, I know, I know all my fans have been waiting, fucking, patiently for me to drop some shit. You know, like what's up with the new shit? Believe me, homie. I get, I read all my messages. I read. I even read people that, fucking, leave love, love, hate comments on my YouTube. I read everything, dog. You know what I mean? I try to really be, you know what I mean, just, I leave, I, I read everything, I comment on everything, you know what I mean, like, so, um, to my fans, I just want to say thank you, you know what I mean, um, for waiting patiently for all the new music, you know, I get hundreds and hundreds of messages, emails, when's the new shit coming, hey, you're slacking, hey, you're this, everyone kind of knows where I've been at now, you know what I mean, had a lot of personal shit I had to get out of the way, but I just want to tell my fans thank you, and, um, you're going to love the new shit that's coming, like, trust me. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna love it. I have so much shit coming where you're gonna have Model Max shit to bump all the way to next Christmas. Real talk. You know what I mean? Um, videos, everything. So, shout out to all my fans that have been holding me down, fucking reposting shit. I wake up every morning to someone reposting a pic or a video or a fucking uh, a song or, you know what I mean? Um, I follow all my shit, all my widgets. All my streaming that come from like people downloading iTunes and from fucking Alaska to you know to fucking Idaho, California, Japan, like all over the world, homie. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy. You know what I mean? Um, I just fucking I just hit over a million downloads on iTunes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. By myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? Independent on my own. You know what I mean? Um. So I just want to tell my fans thank you. I have a gang of shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for waiting patiently. And um, this new Malo Max shit is ten times harder than any other shit that I drop. You know what I mean? So you're gonna love it. You know? So that's that's that, homie. And everybody stay up. Sip, drink, Salute. drink some whiskey. Still recording. And like, peace out. <laughs> So I throw up the piece. The piece so you right. stop asking. 81 hot ones like Kobe, I'm blasting. Versace, Versace, Medusa, head down me. I rob you for that new Bugatti. They do when they cocky, so sloppy. Your mona main line and these fools could've stopped me. Rolling in the drop top, we hot. Mac 11 locks and loaded in the building. My team, yeah, we always on top. Oh, baby, feel it, feel it. Barrio Lifestyle Entertainment. Barrio Lifestyle Entertainment.